Hi everyone! For this video, I'm doing something a little bit different and showing you how I did this Hooked Mermaid special effects makeup. I actually love doing glam and gore looks for Halloween. The juxtaposition makes it so fun for me. But if you just want to see the glam part of this makeup look, then no worries. Check the info card or the description box for the link to that video. But if you want to get into the gore, then just keep on watching. First, you'll want to measure and cut strips of tissue paper for the base of your gash or cut. You can make it as long as you want, but it should be a little bigger than the actual cut in both height and length. After that, you can go straight into the liquid latex. I just applied it right on top of my makeup where I want the gash to be. Then take your tissue paper and put it right over the liquid latex. To make it look more realistic, make sure the tissue paper goes a little bit over your lips and then adjust or cut off any excess as needed. We're going to apply another layer of liquid latex right over that. Make sure the tissue paper is secure and glued down, especially around the edges. Then apply another layer of tissue paper and liquid latex. When it comes to the corners of your mouth, only apply it to the outer edges and not in the center. And if I were to do this look again, I would do maybe one or two more layers of tissue paper and I'll explain why later. Now I'm using a small pair of cuticle scissors to make my cut. Please be super careful, like super duper careful for this step and don't cut your mouth. This is why you shouldn't apply the liquid latex to the center of your mouth so you'll have a place to put the cuticle scissors in. Go slow and take your time with the step so you don't hurt yourself. I had to apply more liquid latex because the bottom wasn't sticking to my skin anymore and liquid latex is your true friend here. As I'm making the cut, I'm also rolling up the edges a bit. This will give the cut a realistic, more 3D look and you can use liquid latex again to hold the piece down. Now I'm applying a layer of foundation over the piece to make it look fleshy. It came out way lighter than my skin tone, but that's okay because most of it will be covered anyway. Now with black face paint, apply it to the inside of the cut. From what I've learned, wounds are darkest in the center, so that's why I'm applying black there. I made the mistake of bringing the black paint outside the cut. I don't know why I did that, it made no sense. I would recommend using a mix of brown or even purple for the outside to make it look bruised. Now with red face paint, apply it to the inside, to the outside, wherever you want really. Oh, this is me trying to clean up the black paint. Okay, back to the red. I also applied a little bit of it over my lip to make it look realistic again. Okay, so here I'm rolling up a piece of tissue paper and using liquid latex to attach it to the bottom edge. I felt like the edges didn't look cut or scarred enough and I wanted to add some more texture to it. That's because I didn't use enough layers of tissue paper, like I mentioned before, to create that thickness. Luckily, it was a pretty easy fix. Okay, back to face painting. I'm just adding more red, but you can mix it up and add more colors in to give it a dimensional look. Just make sure you cover any white spots. Now we're going to add some drops of blood. I used vampire blood here. I'm just going to squeeze it right out of the tube and directly onto the cut. This stuff is pretty watery and drippy, so just watch out for your clothes and surroundings. I always struggle with vampire blood for some reason and I was wearing a white top. Anyway, just add the vampire blood wherever you want, however you want. I also have spray blood. This is even scarier to use because you can't really control where it goes and how much. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I got too scared that it would get everywhere, so that's all we're gonna do. Now we're going to attach the hook. So I had to use a boba straw pipe cleaner to create my hook. How fitting, right? Because I love boba. So I'm just using liquid latex again to attach the end of the hook. If I had more time, I would have secured it better with multiple layers of tissue paper and liquid latex, but I'm just going to skip that for now. And also don't forget to paint over the liquid latex. This part was a bit confusing for me because I was trying to think logically how would a hook go around my face, but I realized it really doesn't matter, it'll look gross either way. 
After figuring out where I wanted the top half of the hook to go, I created a small hole, dipped the hook in liquid latex and put it through the hole. Wow, it actually looks like it's going in my skin. Um, I'm securing the hook with more liquid latex and some lash glue just in case. Shout out Velour Lash Glue! Now I'm painting over the hook, also adding some vampire blood. Finally, just retouching my gloss. I thought this was just a funny clip, so I stuck it in there. <laughs> and that's it. This is the final look. I know I don't usually do videos like this, but I think special effects makeup like this is so fun. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a fun Halloween, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!